you hear the music. Ooh, I know this is, you're going to be hearing a lot of music lately <laughs> in some of my videos. And there's a reason because there's winds of change going on and it's some serious stuff. I have worked on this video all day. You can see I'm tired. I'm tired. Worked on this video all day. It's over 20 some minutes long. Friends, before I even get started, I'm just going to ask you, stick with it. Please stick with it and listen to the whole thing. Pretend you are at a seminar and you really need this information because this is important. If you are a subscriber, uh, if you follow YouTube, you're part of social media, you need to listen to this video. All right, 20 plus minutes. Sit down, get some popcorn, and let's go. A lot of people that make a living off of YouTube, it's the world's most popular video site by far. It's a subsidiary of Google. Increasingly, though, Google seems to be letting politics dictate who is allowed to make money from their platform. Dave Rubin. Hmm. Money? Government? Government is dictating? No, so, a whole bunch of Rubin's videos were demonetized. That's the word YouTube uses when they tell you you can't make money from them anymore. Why did that happen? Dave Rubin joins us tonight. Dave, it's good to see you. So explain what exactly happened. This has happened to other people. It sounds ominous. What does it mean and why they decide to do that? I want that platform to work. I want it to right. be all right. the things for all of the creators who put their content out there across the board politically or whether you're doing beauty videos or sports videos or politics videos or anything else. I want it to be treated fairly for everybody and be transparent in what it is. Uh, so, you know, the word demon is in demonetize, and I can tell you as someone that's dealing with some of this stuff, uh, that it, it appears at least that there's some pretty shady stuff going on. That's what you just said. They said over 90% of the videos on the Rubin Report are fully monetized. The remaining 10% are not because they contain discussions of adult topics, uh, pornography, ISIS, these are topics which many advertisers find objectionable. What's your response? Okay, I, look, I, you know, I said I don't want to do a David versus Goliath thing here, but I mean, that's just simply right. not true. I'm telling you right now, as we went to air, I have an iPhone here, it's a very fancy thing. The video that I posted this morning with Phil DeFranco, I can tell you about videos that I did with many people who are mainstream people who appear even on Fox, like Ben Shapiro and Larry Elder, Ayan Hirsi Ali, right. who I think is the greatest human rights hero. That we need to have a talk. And if you are part of social media, which you probably are because you're on YouTube and you're watching me, monetization, Google AdSense, censorship. You just notice the very last comment when this gentleman was talking about his videos being demonetized. And he's got a huge channel. Huge channels are being affected. I mean, I'm just peanuts compared to these people. Huge channels are being affected. You notice how uh, Google AdSense YouTube came back and said um, they mentioned the word pornography and ISIS. The twisting, the manipulation. Uh, th this guy's not talking about pornography on his videos. Uh, he's not talking about ISIS. But you see how when they publicly make an announcement, that's what they use. They use those words to upset people, and it really is the twisting of the truth. And uh, you're going to see some interesting stuff because, as this video unfolds, um, well, let's just let's just keep rolling. I'm going to show you my footage as I was doing some research and looking at my own channel. It's going to amaze you, friends. We need to wake up, and and also recognize that there is a reason why YouTube channels now are going to Patreon. They're being almost forced to going to Patreon because the manipulation by AdSense and this monetization is not good. Okay, we're going to walk through this together so you get it. Here is my YouTube channel. Um, all my videos that I work really hard on, I upload in, onto YouTube and they come up like this. Now, if you notice in this column, you see a lot of green. They, I monetize all my videos. I mean, they take hours and hours and hours to work, and yes, they are monetized. This gives us some incentive, you know? We get, we get a little revenue, which is awesome. But this is the crazy part. This is why censorship is getting out of control and why the snowflakes are not just controlling what you can say, 
uh, but they're controlling content uh, that provides skill and knowledge and empowerment. Here is proof. This is my new video. Fall planting Swiss chard. I just uploaded this on September 18th. This is crazy. And it was, uh, it featured my green stalk planter and it talked about how groovy and cool it is using these planters uh, for year round planting, growing food. All right, that's it. The original title was called Green Stalk Fall. And this morning I woke up to find the yellow demonetization warning. Limited or no ads due to content identified as not suitable for advertisers. Review requested. The snowflakes don't want either people learning how to use a planter to plant food year round or somewhere in this whole video they found something offensive. And this is the danger there's nothing offensive in that video. I, I'm telling you this right now, friends. I, I'm just planting Swiss chard and showing you how to use the planter. That's it. There's nothing offensive in it. Nothing. Now, pattern. I have to wait for them to review it and see if it, if it is suitable. And they have all the power. If the snowflakes decide that it's not, it's not okay, uh, then I just worked, I don't know how many hours on this video, really for nothing. And this is the thing. Just the a couple days ago, I put up, oh, this one here. Remember this one? Starry Vlog, Old Campbell, Cast Iron Cookery, and She is a Feral Child. This video was with my skinned rabbit. I don't know if you saw the original name of it, but the original name uh, talked about skinning and cooking the rabbit. <gasps> they didn't like that. They pulled the monetization right away. So I changed the title. They gave it back. Then I rechanged it and they took it away. This went on for a couple days. And finally, I came up with this title and they gave it back. Crazy. Why? Because they didn't want, somewhere along the way, some snowflake found that taking a rabbit and skinning it and frying it, you know, utilizing this rabbit, offended somebody. Offended somebody. We were covering before the break. Again, when we talk about censorship, every time the argument comes back, you know, Facebook's a private company, YouTube's a private company, they can censor who they want. Well, one, you look at Google, which owns YouTube, it's a monopoly. It's crossed that line from being just a private company. Now you have to basically use their services to do anything on the internet in terms of content creation. So it's no longer just a private company, it's a monopoly. And then the other issue which we can talk about is they're working hand in hand in Europe, in the Middle East, with governments to literally... Friends, maybe some of you don't care about this. You don't want to hear it. You come to Starry Hilda's Off-Grid Homestead and you're like, Starry? And, and I've had people say this before. I'm here just for the homesteading stuff. And I get that. But... I am a part of YouTube. I'm part of social media. Even though I'm sitting here and the chickens are outside and the Back to Eden Garden's outside and we're canning meat today, I am part of this. You're part of me. <laughs> You're part of the social media. This matters. It matters. And to ignore that now, you don't have to watch the video. If you don't want to hear about uh, monetization and censorship and YouTube and what's going on with, with the manipulation and the monopolies, that's fine. Don't, don't watch. But I have to talk about it because it affects me. And if you're an American and you are part of social media, why wouldn't you want to at least listen to this? Because I'm telling you, friends, our rights are being eroded away every single day. And if you don't see that, if you don't see how things are changing in the world globally, in the enslavement that is going on, and how they do it, they do it through consumerism. They do it through the internet. They do it through our purchases. They do it through cell phones. We need to wake up. Ugh! <laughs>
<laughs> so it's more than just a story, Hilder Off Grid Homestead and Canning. I can't ignore it even here on my mountain top. Okay, so let's get back to uh, the proof is in the pudding. You know, Starry, I don't really talk about anything too controversial. But once I started doing some research about all the censorship, uh, one of the videos were talking about how they are now going into the old videos and demonetizing many of them, many of them. So I sat down here in the course of creating this video for all of you, and I started looking at all my old videos, my videos from months ago, a year ago. And you not couldn't believe what I what I found and and okay so let, 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 let's let's look at the very first one here that just blew me away remember the conference remember starry going to see her sister look at this I just found this accidentally starry live on the road and actually I just I just changed the title just a second ago it was it was starry meets her sister and they took away my monetization. They said it wasn't suitable for advertisers. I, I met my sister. That's all it was. That's it. And it, they don't come back and say, well, we pulled it because uh, you use foul language. Or you remember at the beginning of this video when, they, when Google came out with their, with their little um, statement about porno and ISIS? Well, they don't tell you about this stuff that they're pulling, do they? No, no, no. They don't tell you that they're pulling videos from small channels, medium-sized channels, all channels, uh, because what? President Trump bombed Syria. We legalized in Canada. Oh, no, we don't want you talking about that. That is disruptive. And what else is just, what, what, you know, they don't tell you the full truth. You see how they manipulate they manipulate the truth. And some of you out there may be thinking, oh, stop whining. So what? They pulled your monetization. You should just be happy that you're making any money on, on YouTube. You know what? You, you know what? You give a, 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 a monopoly like Google free run of free speech? Look at this. This was my video on homesteading and some of the things that you should do to prepare. Oh, they pulled that right away and they already confirmed it. I don't. Okay, here's another one. And I didn't even post this one. This was back from 2015. Never, never did put it up. But look at this. How to plant asparagus. Not suitable. <laughs> not suitable. It's not suitable. They don't want you to, uh, you eating. Oh, here's one. Oh, deer hide tanning. Look at that. Yep, I didn't even see that. Dear high tanning, Mr. Hilder has been demonetized. They don't want you to... They don't want you fleshing and prepping for bucking. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm telling you, friends, right here, this is serious. And this is why, uh, y you know, people get upset about channels opening up uh, accounts for Patreon. Why? Why? This is what YouTube has an AdSense and other channels and viewers who have access to complaining that they are, oh, their, their ears are being hurt or their eyes are being burned because they're watching Mr. Hilder or any other channel do something like teach you how to t tan a deer hide. That offends somebody out there. Huh. And the dangerous part of this is anybody can submit a complaint that's not right i mean that, that I, I just i just this so here it is mr hiller talking about college we haven't ever posted it and look they already said it's not suitable it's not suitable for for advertisers they just don't like me no it's and that's just, understandable i get it can you believe that Wow, they don't want Mr. Hilder talking about college. He might say something that the snowflakes might not like. I tell you, I'm going through this monetization thing, and uh, it's an eye-opener. It is really an eye-opener. And, and here's one last, I know, this is a long video. I hope you're sticking with it. I really want you to listen to, um, and I know Mark Dice can be a little dicey, but 
he makes some really good points. Listen to this clip. As this Gizmodo article explains, YouTube has a new naughty corner for controversial religious and quote, supremacist videos. Well, what does that mean, you ask? YouTube has clarified how it plans to handle videos that don't violate any of its policies, but still contain quote, offensive religious and supremacist content. They're going to hide them and make sure that they can't make any money. In a blog post today, YouTube content policy, but still contains controversial religious or quote supremacist content the video will be put in a limited state here the video will exist in a sort of limbo where it won't be recommended or monetized it also won't be included in the suggested videos or allowed to have comments or likes on so just think about what you just heard mark dice say isn't that that really ironic it all comes back around to religion friends if you don't get this by now, we are in a spiritual war. This isn't about money. This really isn't about monetization. This really isn't about laws and rules and protecting people. And this comes down to God versus Satan. And if you don't like it, you can turn off the video right now. But I, I'm just going to tell it just the way it is. Because you know what? I know this video ain't going to be monetized. And they may even take it down. But I'm going to tell you the truth. We are looking at a spiritual warfare. And Google, when they say that they have free reign to decide what religion is okay, what religion content is okay, you know, and it's open up to their interpretation. We saw what their interpretation is, right? You saw proof on my videos how they interpreted certain videos as being inappropriate. Really? Mr. Hilder talking about school? Really? Me meeting my sister? Really? My new uh, green stock planter video? Really? Inappropriate? For the public? See? If you don't see this? And, and this is the big thing, because in the end times, uh, when Peter was talking to Timothy, remember what God's word said, how people are going to be lovers of themselves, lovers of money. They're going to be boastful, proud, brutal, not lovers are good, conceited. And they're going to have a form of godliness, but they're going to deny its power. We see all of that, all of that in people. And, and when it comes to Google and these big monopolies, who do you think that's all headed by? I mean, think about this. You know, they may say that uh, they don't have a leader, they don't have a king, they don't have, you know, a president. But these are, again, workers of iniquity. These people are headed and ruled by Satan. If you are not for God, you are against him. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. These people who are in charge are spiritually blind. In uh, John, he has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts. At least they see with their eyes and understand with their heart and turn, and I would heal them. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, if anyone swears by the temple, it is nothing, but if anyone answers by the gold of the temple, he is bound by his oath. Think about these people who are in charge, and the ultimate agenda is... I mean, they're targeting... Faith, spiritual warfare, this is what we are looking at. The big picture always comes back to spiritual warfare, getting God out of the way so that Satan can continue to rule. And he's got to have workers. He's got to have sheep. And they don't even know, I think, that they're sheep. And then think about how they control us, how they round us up. Well, they do it by turning us against each other. Because I will guarantee, after this video is posted, I am going to receive some comments from some people that will say, Starry, you know, 
I think you're just upset because you got some of that monetization pulled. You know, you're all, the, all about the money, aren't you? I mean, you should be putting up those videos for free. I mean, you are a follower of Christ. How dare you take any money for those YouTube videos? I think you're just greedy. And I actually think all those other YouTubers who monetize their videos are greedy too. They shouldn't get paid at all. And that's what you guys are all upset about. You're just all upset about the money. You people are sheep. You people are being manipulated. If that's what you think and that's what's coming out of your mouth, boy, oh boy, you got to wake up because you are doing exactly what they want you to do. They are twisting and manipulating you to believe that we are the enemies and it's all about the money. And I'm telling you right now, friends, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. And if you can't see that, boy, oh boy, ugh, we, we gotta pray for you. I mean, seriously. Because this is what Satan does. Satan is an angel of light. He can fool even the elect, which means he can fool you. So be very cautious with how you view all of this. Be very cautious when you look at channels going to Patreon and you are criticizing them. Patreon, they can't touch right now. Patreon, there is no censorship. That's why people are going to Patreon channels. And you know what? It's all free will. No one's forcing other people to go and sign up and pay. But they twist it. They manipulate it to make you believe that. We're, we're playing with some really crafty people here. And if, if you people don't see that, um, you're going to be the sheep falling off the edge too with the rest of the herd. It's kind of sad. And that's why I'm doing this video. That's why I uploaded this video today. And it's taken me all day to do it. All day. All day. And uh, there's a lot of work involved in just putting this all together. And, and I wanted to put it together because I, I am so adamant about the truth coming out. Because of the censorship. And if you're watching right now, you can become part of the solution and not be part of the, the problem. Silence is not the key here. Um, not acting is not the, the answer because it does affect you directly or indirectly. It is going to affect you. Like I said before, you give these people an inch, they are taking miles and miles and miles and they're stealing from us our independence. So. This is what I would suggest. Number one, uh, well, let's just start with YouTube. If you find a YouTube like stories and you like them and you enjoy them, when you are surfing and doing your thing on the computer, just click on one of their playlists and let it play. Let it play. Because what that does for that channel is it gives them hits and it helps them out in a small way. I mean, pennies can add up to dollars and it also gets the videos um, out there. The other thing you can do is take the videos that you like and share them on your Facebook page. You know, share them on your Facebook page. Share them in other forums. Pass along the YouTube videos that you like from the channels that you like and pass them on. Pass on the, the ones that, that are controversial. Pass on the ones that talk about Jesus. And then just pass on the other ones that you really like. That's how you can help channels like my channel out uh, that struggles with the big YouTube Google conglomeration and the censorship and the demonetization. Um, we got to really fight fire with fire and there is power in numbers. The other thing you can do, and I'm just using Mark Dice as an example, you, you can love him or hate him or whatever, but you know, these guys have you know, he's got 1.1 million subscribers and there are other big names out there that are trying to get the truth out there. Um, 
uh, I mean the real truth. The, you know, the stuff that he is reporting on and talking about really is outside of the box. And they're targets. They are targets. Him and all the other uh, YouTube channels that are out there. Go to his channel. Yes, watch his videos because all his videos are free. But just know that he also has a Patreon account. And the Patreon account um, actually... I mean, these, these are good ideas because he can say and do whatever he wants on that channel, and there is no censorship. It's fighting fire with fire. you got to understand the whole Patreon movement. It's not about people begging for money. These people who open up Patreon channels, they're providing a product. Videos. And when you go there, all you're doing is donating what you think you see fit to pay for and support those videos that you'd like to watch. You want more of Mark Dyson? You want more of the truth? You want stuff that's uncensored, uh, unfiltered? Perks, rewards, whatever, you know, uh, sometimes they have one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes they have live chats, sometimes they have live streams, they have um, inside stuff, you know, a lot of stuff comes with Patreon. And that dollar gets you access to all of that. So, um, those people who are boo-hooing Patreon, you're not understanding what it is and the freedom it gives channels. So support that. But if, if you don't feel like supporting that, just go to his channel or any other channel that provides the news and start clicking on their playlists and just keep, keep playing them and share them and pass it on. And the very last thing, and I know this is drowning on again, but if you are a follower of Christ, there are things that you can do for God. And I've got a whole list here. But you know what? The bottom line is, obey your gospel. <sighs> Build Christian personality. Lead others to Christ. Um, prepare yourself with a decent pr profession and a job and work. Um, build a Christian home, prepare for Christian leadership, um, encourage and help others, and be faithful throughout your life. Th those are some really good top 10 things that you can do because it is a spiritual war and we're in it. We're in it for the long haul. So get your armor of God on, start planting seeds, and the lines are being drawn in the sand. Start taking a stand. Start taking the stand and start being proactive. All right. Because remember, you know, Jesus coming back with a sword in his mouth. <laughs> I said it before. I'm saying it again. <sighs> I can't wait. Because we win. All right. That's it, my friends. God bless. Thank you for being so patient and watching this in its entirety. Pass it on and share it. Please. This is important.